The national chairman of the Labour Party, Julius Abure, and three other national executive members on Thursday announced their return to the party secretariat. The development is coming one month after they were barred by Justice Hamza Mwazu of the Federal High Court in Abuja from parading themselves as national officers of the party. The judge ruled that Abure, his national secretary, al Haji Farouk Ibrahim, national organizing secretary, Clement Ojuku, and one other should no longer be given recognition as party executives. However, having appealed and file a motion of stay and all other processes, as since the lower court is now seized with jurisdiction on, on the matter, I and my colleagues, earlier restrained by the FCT High Court, have now assumed our constitutional duty as national officers of the party. And from henceforth, we shall continue our good work, which we have been doing for the party and for the nation. We have maintained severally, and we wish to put on record, without sounding immodest here, that under my leadership, the party has been taken from grass to grace. We have elevated the status of this party. We have made it the number one opposition party in Nigeria. Since the history of this party, this is the first time under my watch, under my leadership, that we have a sitting governor, or that we'll be having the governor that will be sworn in, 35 House of Rep members, eight senators, and all others. The LP national chairman also reiterated that unlike the speculations making the rounds, the party has no faction. And I'm sure that's why all progressive Nigerians, all right-thinking Nigerians, all those who meant well for the country, no doubt supported the Labour Party to victory in the last election. When we started the battle for the 2023 general election, people laughed at us that we were just four people tweeting from a room. They described the Labour Party as a party that had no structure. Even with all the manipulation of the results, with all the rigging of the results, the result declared by INEC showed clearly that in the presidential election, we won 12 states clearly, and PDP won 12 states clearly, and APC had 13 states. It has never happened in the political history of Nigeria, and that happened under my watch. And therefore, today, I and my colleagues... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.